the responsibility, like we might make it out to be this like heavy duty, um, but really what the responsibility draws from is care, like how much you care about something. And when you're connected with what you care about, then, then you have the energy and the courage to, to, to meet those responsibilities. It's like, it all comes down to letting yourself care um, as intensely as on a deep level, you actually do care. You just don't know it. And, and you will know it someday. It could be on your deathbed, how much you actually cared about the things you pretended not to care about. And boy, that is going to be a painful realization if you wait till your deathbed. If we can connect, and this might be an, a, maybe the most important thing that men can do for each other in the kind of groups that you talk about, is to connect us to what we care about for real. A lot of the harm that men do is a distraction, is, is like it's to keep numb to what you care about. And like, that's, that's the painful realization. It's like, oh my God, I was chasing this career. I made partner, et cetera, et cetera. And I ignored the most important thing. I wish I could have those years back. That is the, like the, the one of the core injuries to men of patriarchy. I wish I could have those years back because the program distracted me. <laughs> blinded me to what I actually care about. And I lived someone else's life. I lived the life prescribed to me by this story of man, but not my life. The way forward is to come back again to what is real and what we care about, to assert, well, when we're connected with that, then and for example, if we're talking about COVID, you know, when we say actually seeing other, each other's smiles is important. Physical gatherings is important. Hugs are important. Are they more important than X number of deaths and not Y number of deaths, et cetera, et cetera? I don't care. All I'm saying is that our policies, our collective decisions have to include the importance of things that we've kind of written off as less important or not at all important. And, and that's the same thing as as seeing each other as important. And what I said, and, and, and what I said about death to see that death is actually real. That's what respect is. Uh, because then you know that you're not going to live forever and that the purpose of life isn't to survive it. And that's respect for each other. That's the healing of patriarchy. When you look at a woman and you know that she's real, she's a full being, not an object. And that's the healing of our masculinity too. Like that's what we can do for each other to, to, to look at each other and know each other fully and to, to be willing to be seen fully so that we can be seen as real. So we can help each other know that we're real too. Cause when this happens, then we care, we care about life. We care about each other. It's just being in reality. So yeah, yeah the, the, it is so intimately related to, um, to death. I mean, that's what makes life precious.